Welcome back to Smart Mouth Beauty. I'm Heather, this is my sister Holly, and today we're getting ready for spring and summer, a little sunscreen talk. Talkity talk, talk, talk. We should totally talk about some sunscreen because it is like gone overboard at your place. Listen, which I, love. I am having <laughs> drama. No, I know. Okay, look, I ha okay. I tried filming this as a raw video the other day in oh. my car. I got one of those arm things that you put the ca or your phone or your camera in, and I filmed it when I was driving to the post office, and it was going like this the whole time. And it was like, you know, I can't post that, so. The camera was going like this? The arm of the thingy thing thing was bouncing. Was it an arm of flotation that it was supposed to like give with your car? I don't know. You broke it. Okay, so here's my drama and I need your help. Need your help, I need your help. I need everyone's help. I have become obsessed, I know that word is thrown around a lot on YouTube, the beauty community, but I really have developed some kind of girl crush on Dr. Dre. I I know, it's, it's, it's bad. It's like, yes, no, yes. I, it's bad. Yes. Okay. It's if now I'm become familiar, this, what would Dr. Dre do? Right. And I'm not talking about the rapper, although, you know, I'm down with that too. But I'm talking about um, a dermatologist named Andrea. I will link her channel down before down below. And she does, um, she films, she posts every day. Yeah. Um, she does some about vlogs. Some vlogs, some Q&As. Um, mostly skincare. 95% about skincare. Which is great. Which is great. She's a dermatologist. She lives in Houston. Yeah. They have a lot of sunshine down there. And so she knows what she's talking about. I like watching her because she doesn't make me feel stupid. She doesn't talk down mm -hmm. or talk way over your head to where you don't understand what she's talking about. Right. She's very matter of factly. She's she just and thorough, says I think. It. She just says it. Yeah. Okay. Very thorough. So I have learned a lot in the 200 plus videos that I have watched of hers, thank you very much. I have learned a lot about skincare, skin health, um, skin cancer prevention, sunscreen, blah, blah, blah. Okay, with that said, the only thing I am frustrated about with her channel, which is not anything against her at all, but she doesn't wear makeup, okay? Right. And she and she says that you know she knows she's not a beauty she, she channel. Not, she is not a beauty channel. I think the only actual makeup product she wears is mascara. Fine. So she is all about the sunscreen, and she's all about the reapplying of the sunscreen, like to an excessive level. Okay, to a point where I'm not sure I could keep up. I'm just not sure my body needs all of that chemicals. Like your skin is your largest organ and it inhales and exhales. It just does. If you ever eat onions and then you smell your sweaty skin a few hours later, it's secreting. Like it, it will inhale and exhale. Everything that you put on your skin is going into your system and then it, it also will come out. So I understand that, but the sun is not safe for your skin either. I know, but there has to be a balance. You cannot excessively be reapply it I have every gone single hour. Over, okay, here's, here's where we are. Here's where we are. And here's what I need your help with. All right, I purchased- Take it away from you? No, listen to me. This is gonna be a long video, so pause it now and go pee and get your Diet Coke or your water or your cocktail, whatever you need. Look, I purchased this sunscreen by her recommendation, and I really like it. This is the Elta MD Skincare UV Sport Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This is a combination sunscreen. Because so, it has the zinc oxide and... Hold on. What is it? There are three kinds of sunscreens. Don't yes. take me as gospel. Go over and watch Doc Dr. Dre. There's three types. There's chemical, physical, and mineral sunscreens. This is a combination sunscreen. Chemical and mineral. I think, I'm gonna have to look it up. Anyway, I have very sensitive skin. I have been doing um, tretinoin. And that's mm -hmm. the other thing. She says if you're doing any kind of- Retinol family. Retinol. Um, Retinol, anything. In a course of any of that, 
you have to use sunscreen or you're completely defeating the purpose and you're probably going to make it worse. Yes. Your skin is worse it, if you don't use it. You're thinning thins your, out skin. your skin. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So. You spit on me. I'm sorry. I, so I bought this on Amazon. It was like $25. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. But it goes on very, very white, like very white. But it doesn't sting my skin. Okay. Fine. Does it have an odor? No. Okay. No. It, and she's also about everything has to be fragrance free. Yeah. I, I hate fragrance in skincare. Yeah. Okay. This is oil free for all skin types. You can use it on your whole body, but I've primarily been using it on my face, neck, and chest okay. and hands. Okay. Um, because I really haven't been outside. I mean, it's been cold and rainy. Anyway. I don't think this wears well under foundation. Now, here's the problem. Look, listen, I'm telling you, this video is gonna be long because I need your help. So I moisturize my skin. Fine, let that dry. That's what she says to do. Then you go in, first. you moisturize first, like with my CeraVe um, AM. Well, I use PM because the right. CeraVe AM has sunscreen in it, but I don't like it. I don't. I don't like it. So I use, so get up in the morning. I don't wash my face. I just splash it. Right. Okay. Right. I don't, I don't use wash soap my, on my, my face, face in the morning. It's too it's much. It's too harsh. It's too much. I don't need it. Okay. So I put on my CeraVe PM. Let that soak in. Then I put this on because this is very moisturizing. Very moisturizing. So put this on. Let it soak in. But here's the thing, I don't have two hours to wait. No. Before I put my foundation no. on. No. Okay? No. So then I go in with my foundation. I've been using the one you oh, that you yeah. gave me this, I'm wearing it today. The LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Long Wearing Illuminating Foundation. And I use my my beauty blender. <laughs> my uh, Real Techniques sponge. sponge. Okay. Okay. Good. Because right now, because I've been using the Tretinoin, my skin is dry, yes. and if you and use if I the use brush, that brush, it's just gonna flake and peel, and you've got you've got a cakey it's, hot yes. mess. Okay? Yes, damn. I don't think that these are friends. Oh, okay. And you can't wait long enough. Do you then primer? No. Okay. No. Okay. okay. Here's my other my other beef. All right. So my first question that I need help with down below is. Tell me a sunscreen to wear every day under my foundation. I even went so far as to buy this IT um, CC cream, but it's too dark for me. Yeah. This has um, SPF 50 broad spectrum physical sunscreen. Okay, that's a great and wonderful thing, but the product is, the color's too dark. I bought it off QVC. It took two weeks to get it. I can't, I can't, okay. I, I can't. It's it medium? medium. Oh. See, with those CC creams, I would always step lighter. Well, I didn't know. Just, just in general. But here's the thing is that if I get up in the morning and I put on the sunscreen and then I put on my foundation, let's say I go this route or I go this route that has the built-in sunscreen, how am I going to reapply that? All right. Well, let's back up for a second because I, I do want to talk really about frustrated. that. I want to talk about that. But let me tell you what I use underneath my foundation. You asked a question. Let's yes. first talk okay. about that. Because I have many questions. I use this Pearlese. I got like... Let me see. What is that? I got like seven of these under like Ipsy bags and like Allure Beauty Boxes. This is what the blue, right there? blue Lotus... Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Essential Daily Moisturizer. Moisturizer protects, moisturizes, absorbs easily, no white tint. Perfect under makeup. Perfect under makeup. So I will. I sort of use this as a two-in-one. I will use this as my moisturizer and then as my SPF. Then I put a primer on. Then I put my makeup okay, on. Okay, well then, and that's okay. I mean, if it's if it's if it's also yes. if it's moisturizing enough, yes. then so be it. This is yeah. for dry to normal skin and sensitive. Sensitive. Okay. So this, I, like I said, I had I have seven of these. Okay, so you're gonna let me leave here today with one. Maybe. Okay. I love we'll this. Out. I love this. It has white tea, calm sensitive skin, soy protein, algae extracts, vitamin E, anti aging, non greasy. I love it. 
Okay, so then it, does your foundation have SPF? I don't think so. I'm using, right now I'm using that Pro Glow, or no, 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 I'm using the Wet n Wild. Does that have it? I don't think I don't so. Think I does. don't think it does. I don't think it does. If, okay, now, now you all have to understand, and, and this is something we'll, we'll talk about here in a minute, because as soon as I say it, Heather's gonna be like, <gasps> I don't leave the house. I don't go outside. So sometimes I feel like the 30 is enough for me. On the days that I do leave the house, sometimes I'll use this Hang 10 SPF 50 on my face because I like it and it doesn't really sting me. Or sometimes I'll use my, and I don't have it right here, but it's that Neutrogena Dry Touch um, Sheer Sunscreen SPF like 100. I don't leave the house. But you're standing next to an open window all day. I don't leave the house. It's not an open window. And that's not where the sun comes in. The sun comes at the back of my house the entire day. It well, according to Dr. To Dre, window. you should be putting it on every day regardless. Multiple so, times a day. He, so, let's, so let's advance to that then. Let's advance to how do you put it on. She can put it on. Dr. Dre can put it on because she's not wearing any makeup i mean she's putting this on like three or four times a day like she puts it on in the morning and she goes to work and sometimes she drives sometimes she walks to work mm -hmm. and if she walks to work a homegirl has on a hat and sunglasses and a uv protective sweater and like seven layers of this i just think that and then if she goes out for lunch she puts on more in the car. I just think that that's so much chemical absorbed in your skin. Well, apparently this is a safe chemical. Here's the thing is that her argument is beauty products, makeup is not regulated. Sunscreens and the like are regulated. So I, you know, and this is, this is where I get conflicted because I spend the majority of the day inside as well. But Let's say I do, let's say it's a day that I just use like this IT 50, I mean, yeah, CC Cream SPF 50. And, that, and then I, so I put it on, I go to work, it's dark. I sit all day in a cubicle with zero natural light. Zero. And so like four or five hours later, I go outside to go to lunch and the sun is shining. I can't reapply this over makeup. Like I don't. I don't get, but here's the double-edged sword, okay? And here's where I'm conflicted. I'm having some kind of midlife crisis over sunscreen, and it's ludicrous. I wear makeup because of the sun damage. Okay, now, so if we could get your skin to a certain point, is what you're saying is that you wouldn't wear makeup, so then you could just reapply? Maybe. Okay, I can't go back to 1982 and apply sunscreen. Okay, I right. can't do that. We right. didn't do that. We didn't have the knowledge base then that we have now about sunscreen. We were children. We didn't do it. Blah blah blah. Whatever. There we okay. go. Fine. The, the damage is done. But if you're a young person and you're using sunscreen in the manner it was with, it, with which it was intended, which is to reapply. Chances are you're going to have beautiful skin for life if you keep this habit up and you're not going to need 10 coats of makeup. Yes. So you know which came first, the chicken or the egg Just use here. a little powder. But even when we look at YouTubers that have glorious skin, they still use or they still think they need six types of concealers. Like Leanne says, uses four different types of concealers I know every she single does. day. Well, I know. And I it's know. like... She looks but the majority of women right. probably don't do that. I would like to be someone who doesn't need a lot of makeup. Right. If I want to wear makeup because it makes me feel good, so be it. But right. I mean, I know we're getting off topic, right. but. Okay, um, so let's address how do you then reapply? Would you not feel comfortable? Excuse me. Spraying something. Well, here's the. If you can't oh, get sorry. a lotion straight down to your skin without making a paste with all the powder that you've already put on for this, the morning, could you then mist something? Well, maybe. However, Dr. Dre is against spray sunscreen. 
against it. But I love this one. I got you, and I own these because of you. Okay? She's saying she's against it because you're missing areas of your body when you do this. Because it comes out in such a fine mist, you are missing some areas, okay? She's all about complete coverage. Now, part of the reason why I don't leave the house. Okay, I understand that. I mean, we're not talking, this is not every day. This is if I go to the pool. Right, okay, right. Okay, this is if I go to an you outdoor can pool. get it, like get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> okay, this is why Holly doesn't rap. But anyway, look. We got these at the for the to go yes. to the pool or to be outside for any length of like time because one. special is excessively hairy. <laughs> and when I try to go over him with something like this, I mean, I mean, you talk about a paste. And plus, that's twenty five dollars. Well, you right, never, six tubes. Oh, he's get, not allowed. You think no, he's allowed? To be absolutely not. Stomach. No. Okay. I noticed the other day in the tub he was using my good shampoo, but that's a whole other thing. I'm gonna uh. smack that down. So, for him. He's very pale, red hair, sunburns easily. Freckles. Freckles. I ha I use this spray, Good. but now that now I know I'm going to have to completely saturate him to get good coverage out of this. Had you had a problem with that in the past? I know sometimes you all go to the pool in the summer. Do you remember my my burn from a year and a half ago? Not last summer, but the summer before we went to the outdoor water park. In my burn up here because I didn't reapply. Well, it, it's clearly you have to reapply. I didn't do it. Okay, look for reals. But you were purposely in the sun. You weren't in your cubicle. That's right. So I think this is. But like, this, look at my arm. That you have to work it out. Look that. Those are sunspots. We don't know that that wouldn't be natural fle fle fleckling. <laughs> Maybe that's just just natural. Okay, Freckling. it's not natural fleckering. Okay, <laughs> this is from driving in a car ah, on yes. the driver's yes, side. Yes, on the driver's side. And not putting on SPF. Like, I've really gone to the dark side, Holly. Sorry. No, it's bad. And I've been going to the pool a lot of late. It's an indoor pool. Okay, indoor pool next to a window. The sun comes in the window and reflects off the water. It's bad. So before I go to the indoor pool, I put this on. Oh, I have a story to tell. Do we have time for a story? No, because I want to just say one quick thing about the whole reapply with makeup. What if you were able to find a setting spray with SPF in it? So I have this one by Supergoop, which is a great company. Have you ever used anything from Supergoop? No, but I've heard of them. It's a great company. This is a defense refresh. Defense Refresh, refresh. Uh, Setting Mist with Rosemary Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 50 Matte Finishing Spray 3-in-1 Sets Makeup, Controls Oil, and Delivers UV Photo Aging Protection. Okay, I'm going to need that then. Because that's, that's the only way that I could see if you if you can't mist this just slightly, then I would use a setting spray. Find yourself a setting spray with SPF in it and get on with it. Get on. It has consumed me. So this. So let me tell you what happened. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is. I'm going to try this. Yes. Okay. So about two weeks ago, I had put this on earlier in the day. I'm trying to think of what I did. Didn't have any makeup, hair in a bun, put on my bathing suit. I had put this Elta MD on my face, in my neck and chest. Did you set a timer? <clears throat> no, I'm just thinking like, what did I, what was I doing? Cause then I went to the pool and I was in the parking lot. Before I got out of the car, I was like, man, it is really bright outside. And I didn't have this with me. And I thought, you know, the, the way the pool is, where the window yeah. is, it gets the afternoon sun, it shines in. And I thought, you know, I better put something else on because I think I may have rubbed it off or whatever. So in my car. Plus, if you didn't set a timer, this only says 80 minutes. Right. So well, it's water really, resistant for 80 minutes. If but you're okay. 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 Immediately after time and at, at least every two hours. Okay. Okay. So 
here's what happens. I'm in the car, I don't have this to reapply. So I'm like, okay, what do I have? I have this in my car, this um, banana boat dry balance that I got in my Walmart beauty box. Yeah. This is sunscreen lotion, helps you feel dry and fresh. SPF 30, broad spectrum, SPF 30, blah, blah, blah. okay. So I open the console, take off my glasses, get this out, put it in my hand, start massaging it. All of a sudden, I'm on fire. Oh yeah, you said that you were like blotched no. out. It was like fire ants on my face. It doesn't do that on my hands. Cause this is the one you keep in your car for your hands. Yes. Oh, I almost went home because my face was blood red. It was on fire and I was like, okay, Heather, calm it down, calm it down. So I went into the pool, it gets better. So I went into the pool. Everything had kind of calmed down. It was still a little bit hot, but it had kind of calmed down until I got splashed. The water reactivated the fire ants. You have to be so then to something in the here. The sun was coming in and I didn't have my sunglasses on, so I was in the pool like this. The whole time, fire face like this. Horrible, horrible. This you, lotion, you this sunscreen, it. look, this dry <laughs> balance stuff. So I thought, okay, well, I clearly cannot use this on my face. I'm going to have to only use this on my on hands. Your hands. Yes. The, the part about it being dry. Yes. Okay. Garbage, garbage, because it makes your hands feel dirty. Yes. My hands feel dirty. Yes. So yesterday, yes. Was it yesterday? No, Friday. I put this on in the car, driving around, blah, blah, blah. It just makes you filter. I can't. Well, uh, I, I like, was going to just I mean, compare such a fun some Please. of the ingredients uh, in that one way over there. I can't. I think it's gone. It's done. Okay. So, you, but you might be sensitive to that homo salate. See, this, this one from um, Perlice and that one has similar ingredients, but this one has very different. This does not burn my face. Right, you might need to stick to something like this. Well, this one also comes in a clear, which Dr. Dre also uses that one too. The thing is, I just don't think it, I don't know. This doesn't do well under this makeup. This also has homo salate. I'd be really curious to see what you're sensitive to. You've gone fire you've, face. You've, 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 I'm having, I'm having a, like a lot of problem here because I want to have beautiful skin. I want to have beautiful skin. I want to have safe skin. Okay. Safety. I don't want to be covered in brown spots. I'm already got, got enough that I'm trying to battle. Yeah. And so, from here moving on out, I need to be like on my sunscreen game, but not if I can't get a consistent routine, not if I can't figure out. Could you do a moisturizer with sunscreen and then put something else on your, on your arms and, and hands? Get yourself to work. Take your lunch. Okay. Then before you leave work, just slather this all over your face anyway, you're going home. Yeah, what no, about a big old such a hat, hat, like Jackie O hat in the car? Or like one of those visor things for your car over this way. I already had tinted windows. Anyway, I love Dr. Dre, but she has gotten me to a point where I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Tell her, tell her, tell her friends about the app that you've downloaded on your cell phone because of Dr. Dre. You might need medication. Look, it's a UV, it's a UV app. That's not that big a deal. Hold on, oops, I just clicked the wrong thing. UV index and like wherever you are, look. Okay, let me ask you this right now. It is, what time is it? One o'clock in the afternoon and it's been raining all day. What do you think the UV index is? Well, give me a, a spectrum. What, what, what's high, what's low, what's high? Like, what's this index? 
Well, it's kind of like when you go when you go on your phone, like you go to the weather app. Do you okay. ever scroll down and look at the UV index? No. Okay, ten being the highest. I don't leave highest. the house. Look, ten being the most oh, extreme. Then it's like three. Okay. Well, it's not. It's actually five point eight. It is in the moderate category right now. Are you going to go out and lay out in the sun? No, I'm not going to lay out in the sun, but I am going to drive home. You all, like it's bad. And I really like Dr. Dre. Hi, Dr. Dre. And like, I, I know you're not watching, but still. She, she has no she idea, has no who, idea who, who we are. are. But what I, but I appreciate I, you taking this seriously. But there's a point where you're going to just need to live your life. And I, I, I feel like... I'm not living my life. For example, at the car show yesterday, it yes. was spotty. We did have some rain. But we had a period of like two hours of good sunshine. I had used my, mo my SPF with my moisturizer. I had put my makeup on. And I think I even said it with that one. The uh, super, the super goop. goop spray. But I didn't take it with me. You didn't take anything, any sunscreen? No, I had a coat on. Okay. Because it was, I had like a was rainy, breaker yeah. uh, coat. So in regard to my face, I came home last night after being at the car show from about 12 to 5.30. I was not sunburned. I, I do believe that there is a certain very small amount of protection that my makeup actually has because I've actually gotten like, there's so many layers of makeup yes <laughs> I've actually gotten burned up here yeah and not hairline. any further because there's no makeup up there I've actually seen that happen which kind of proved to me that my makeup is kind of like this mask anyway well, you should be wearing a hat <laughs> or, yeah right here's my bigger point Paul came home with a sunburn on his forehead. He had put aloe on his forehead last night when we came home. So clearly- Because he didn't put on anything nothing, before you no, went. Nothing, Okay. Because it was raining when we left. And I, I usually I do pack um, this one for car shows. That was in my car show bag, but it was not, okay. So I had the opportunity to get some sun. When I took off my makeup last night, I had nothing. Paul had a, a red forehead. So I just, wanted to point out that makes him get out of the room real fast and i just wanted to point out that i don't want to give you false hope but i do want to say when you when you get off work i wouldn't worry about your face in the car as much as your arms and and, and hands just a calm it down i really i've gone to the dark side because I see what she's doing, and I don't do anything like that. I have to, okay, but I, I just want to say, she's and also I appreciate into, that. The, the, I, right, habit of, she's educating people. And I appreciate that. I'm worried about long term, 20 years from now, I understand she's preventing sun cancer, but is there something else that she's also doing internally that we don't see with all of this? Oh, she's a pretty healthy person. I mean, she's a vegan and she only eats right now plant-based diet and right now. blah, blah, right. blah. What I'm saying is we don't know long-term constant application. Every two-hour application of a chemical on your skin, we don't know right, long-term. But there's term. chemicals in our makeup. I don't constantly put that on. I put it on once. There's chemical anywhere. Anyway. There's, there's crap anywhere. I there's gotcha. cancer everywhere. So, I'm just trying to, I just want to have a better routine, I think is what it is. I want to be in the habit of using sunscreen on the daily, and I want to have set products that I use in a routine. I love that you keep something in your car. I don't keep anything in my car because I'm never in my car. Um, and you of all people, because you have a convertible. I don't put it down. You think I mess up this hair? You seldom put it down? Do you ever see it down? No. Are we done? I don't know. Please comment down below. If you're still watching, please do you comment reapply? down below. Do you reapply? What, what do, do you, you use, use under your makeup that doesn't ball up? And do you keep like do you keep it in your car? Like what's 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 the thing? The other thing about that lotion that I threw on the floor about it being in the car, and I think this is true of probably any of these products, 
is that when I put it on, I go like this instead of like this right. because my black steering wheel has got crap. You'll, you'll ruin your car. But I'm also wondering if that being in your car with the drastic temperature changes that we have here in, in Kentucky, if that's expired. I just got it. I mean, oh. only, I mean that particular one. Oh, okay. I mean, it's relatively Because I'm just wondering if it's been in there for a year and no. it's been at 170 degrees in your car and negative 70. I'm wondering if that mm -hmm. adjusts the chemicals. No. Okay, here we go. We're going to end this video now. Thank you very much for watching. We would love your input. Comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Out of control. Although I'm telling you, look, I really enjoy the super goop crap. In fact, I think I need to get on the website and order some more of that. Super goop poop. Super goop setting mist. All right, you can get a big in one fluid ounce for 12 bucks, 3.4 for 28. And it doesn't burn your face. Spray it. What if it sets my face on fire? Then we'll do a get ready with me again. Oh God. Okay, I do not like that. Go into it's it. Not... Go into it. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Okay, it's got a horrible spray on it. Yeah. Maybe it's because it's almost out. Yeah. Well, that's, don't don't do that. That's not a good. Oh. All right, I have to pee. Let it dry. Okay. All right. Okay, that's well, fine. Can you fix my hair? What do you? What is it that you want me to Look, do? To I have it? not washed my hair since Friday. I know that it has been up in this this swirly gig since then. But you've known since before Friday that we were filming today. Yeah. I didn't do my hair. Okay. All right. Well, it's just going to look like this for every video we film today. Awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this shit.